Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Yeah, maybe. But I got you pegged. <laughs> but I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. The Punisher has just entered the building. Hello, everybody, on a Wednesday hump day. That's right, the hump day drop is here. And... Before we get too far, as you know, it's been a little while, but The Punisher is sponsored by National Gold. And let's hear from our spokesperson, The Punisher. I'll be right back. The Punisher is sponsored by the National Gold Group. Did you know that gold is over $2,000 an ounce? Meanwhile, wars in Israel and Ukraine and projected rate cuts are fueling gold's meteoric rise. Meanwhile, our national debt is skyrocketing higher. Our debt was $23 trillion and gold was $1,500 an ounce. This year, 2023, our debt is $33 trillion, but gold is $2,000 an ounce. So why are so many Americans adding gold to their portfolios and retirement plans? Well, I'll tell you. Because the National Gold Group is America's number one precious metals company. Call 1-888-598-9909 to learn about their retirement account fee waiver program. And if you mention the Punisher's channel, you'll always get best in class service from America's conservative precious metals leader. National Gold Group has the IRA fee waiver program. That means they will pay the fees on your IRA for up to 10 years on qualifying rollovers. So call 1-888-598-9909 to learn about their retirement account fee waiver program. National Gold Group is a Consumer Affairs top-rated gold IRA dealer. So call 1-888-598-9909. Again, that's 1-888-598-9909. Or visit edkgold.com. Welcome back, everybody. Wasn't that informative? Here we are going into the Christmas season, so what better time to buy yourself a little gold or silver? But anyway, so... The world continues to go to hell in a handbasket, kind of. But we here are always very optimistic and positive. And it's a hump day. What can be better than that? Did you watch some of the testimony yesterday? The president of Harvard University and some others, complete loser dirtballs, who allow for free speech when it's hate speech against everyone else. But if it's conservative speech, of course you can't ha have that. They got grilled pretty good. They should resign. They're pieces of crap when they let that go on. Punisher? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even go to that university. I wouldn't let my kids I wouldn't advise kids to go to the university. It is a complete crap hole now. And anyway, too costly. So where are we on this hump day? Operation Slipknot 7.0 is really, really moving fast now, especially since the uh, enhancement package <laughs> of Operation Sudden Impact which was approved by Clint Eastwood. <laughs> you may have heard that the other day. Uh, he endorsed it. Uh, you're, you're right. But Operation Operation Sudden Impact. Go ahead. Make my day. Yeah. Did you enjoy that intro? Because there's been a reboot of Frasier. And I love Frasier. In fact, that was the inspiration behind getting Walter was because of Eddie on Frasier. He was such a cute dog. But guess who suggested that he reboot it? Tim Allen and Roseanne Barr. And just a couple days ago, Kelsey Grammer was being interviewed by the BBC, and they asked him if he still supported Trump. And he said, uh, yes. Oh, why yes? And guess what? They didn't even finish the interview. That alone. It just goes to show you 
that our media does not care unless you believe a certain way. <sighs> Pretty incredible. All right, so heads, <laughs> heads are getting ready to roll, especially going into this Christmas. Sudden Impact 2.0, have I got some news for you today. And no, it's not the basement yet. I just keep getting tied up, and it's hard with all this work that the Punisher's doing to get down in that basement. But don't worry, the cataloged heads are coming. Soon, very soon. But, Sudden Impact 2.0 on this hump day, what version would you like to call it? I'm listening. I'm listening to your input. Oh, yes, I hear you. I'm listening. <laughs> Sudden Impact 2.0 is officially 2.1, effective immediately upon viewing of this video. You asked for it, you got it. Toyota. Anyway, so I hope that everybody has been having a wonderful week so far. Again, oh, by the way, I was going to say get your Christmas trees and everything, but if you're out getting your Christmas tree, especially in California, make sure that you pull it right off your vehicle as soon as you get home and make no stops in between. Because I saw in the news today, some Yahoo pulled up in like an infinity beautiful SUV, parked right next to an SUV with a tree on it. Funny, the tree also had a stand already built in. It was weird. I've never seen a a fresh cut tree with the stand already on it, but that's beside the point. He pulls out a knife, zip, 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 cuts the restraining uh, ropes, ties, and he stole the tree. He just jammed it into the back of his SUV, back down and left. Unbelievable. California is a crap hole of crime. I hope that those fans from California are safe, because I know that you're thinking about this. But, unbelievable. So anyway, if you're out getting your tree, uh, do not, uh, especially in California, <laughs> uh, go home, take it off, put it in the house. So, or your tree may get stolen by some thuglets. Anyway, now, I hope that everybody has had a wonderful start to their week, that they're having a wonderful hump day, and that they're excited for this great news. Sudden Impact 2.1, as I mentioned. Oh boy. Soon, very, very soon, heads are getting ready to roll. Somebody said they're tired of hearing soon. They want to hear now. All right, now, heads are getting ready to roll very soon. <laughs> yes. And for the person that uh, criticized my singing, I've already said... I sing like crap. So, when you put a comment that says, Hallelujah, the song Hallelujah is such a beautiful, beautiful song. But when the Punisher sings it, they said, Please do not ever sing that song again. Well, that's like an invite to sing it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. You'll be hearing more of that. And, you know, the Punisher might publish his own uh, original Christmas song. I'm working on it. Let's hope that I can get it out soon. <laughs> Very soon. But it has to be out before Christmas. So, anyway, have a wonderful week. We will see you on Friday. And make sure that you are subscribing and leaving the comments, because I do read as many as I can. And everybody have a wonderful day. Oh, ah, uh, hey everybody. Uh, yes, yeah, so I am here too, and I did. Uh, uh, I drink out of the Punisher's cup. Mm. I do wish that he'd put a little cream and sugar in his coffee because he tends to drink it black. But I'm here. I'm supporting the Punisher, and together we are doing great things and making kids roll now. Heads are rolling now, soon, very soon. Screw James Whitey Bulger. We'll talk to you later. Bye.